Alright everyone, we are now in part 2 of our tutorial, and when we left off, we were just left with all these crazy little dots, and uh, what we want to do, actually, is make Buju realize that this is actually our ground plane right here, and uh, make it recognize the uh, sequence. So we're actually going to go over to Scene Geometry. Scene Geometry is pretty sweet. Now, what you want to do now is just find two dots that are identical going up and down. So for this, we're actually going to choose this dot right here. And if you hold down Control, click on this dot, and click Add Coordinate. And the type, we actually want to change it to X axis and hit Connect to Selected, Update Coordinate Frame. Now we want to do the exact opposite. We want to look for two that are going across from each other. So if we hold down control, click on this one right here, and hit add coordinate. And for since we're doing 3ds Max, we're actually going to change it to Y axis. Now if you're just exporting, exporting to After Effects, you would switch it to Z axis. But we're going to actually switch it to Y axis. Hit connect to selected and update. Now we just want to get one more uh, easy frame as our origin. And the origin is just you just find a basic dot that's in the middle of your scene and hit add coordinate frame. The type we want to change it to origin. Connect to selected, update, and close. So now if you go over to the 3D tab view, you can see our scene has changed somewhat dramatically. If you hold down shift and left mouse click, you can look over at your scene. Everything looks pretty good. If you click right mouse button, you can zoom in. You can see our video right here. And uh, all the dots seem uh, pretty awesome. So go over to 2D. And uh, we're about ready to export. But one thing you want to check is go to setup. And you actually want to go to edit sequence. Now Buju likes to uh, trick you. He's like a tricks master. He thinks he can get away with uh, changing the frame rate to 25 even though we switch it to 24. So just one more thing you want to double check is switch it to 24. Hit apply and hit close. So now that looks good and uh, now we can go to export. Export camera solve and uh, I'm just going to save it to my documents. I'll name this to awesome exclamation mark. Secrets 1, camera solve, and uh, scale the scene. That looks pretty good. Usually you want to change it to 100, but we're just going to leave it the same for now. And uh, just hit save. And everything looks pretty good. So now that we're in. 3ds Max, it is an awesome program. Um, one thing I want to show everyone who's having problems, you can see our uh, awesome is right here, is sometimes when you're importing a Max script into 3ds Max, you get this weird uh, file error and it won't let you import your 3ds Max file because it's being stupid. So let me just show you a simple technique that you can do. Just go back over to your 3ds Max file and double click it and you just want to open it and uh, you'll see all this crazy stuff. You just scroll down just to where you saved it to file name local to see documents and you'll see IFL and you'll see a parenthesis right there. You just want to click on that and delete the parenthesis just like that simple as that go to file and hit save and close that so now when you open the file into 3ds max watch what happens look at that the video is right there that looks pretty sweet so if you go to perspective cameras camera one you'll see our video is right here and uh, it's looking Looking pretty good. Go back to perspective and 
what you can do actually is uh, if you want to make things a little bit more simpler it's just click on all these go to the enlargement tool and just make this a little bit bigger just so you can get a better idea of everything there we go maybe a little bit too much that's good right there so if you go back to perspective go to cameras camera one everything's a-okay so now what we want to do is we want to import our video into 3ds max so if you go to uh, views viewport background viewport background go to files and you just want to go to the uh, place where you saved your video so in this case it would be my documents and my videos and just click on your first video check it off to sequence hit ok uh, that looks good actually we're going to start the frame rate to start frame one hit ok everything looks good make sure it's display background animate background and look at that that looks pretty good and one more thing you want to check just go over to this tab button right here that says time configuration and make sure it's on 24 FPS frames per second and click OK and what we're going to do actually is click on the box and we're just going to make a simple plane covering our whole entire plane right here click on that so if you go to camera go to perspective you can actually zoom out and uh, make this a little bit bigger yeah that's what we're gonna do make this a little bit if I can click on the okay Let me try a different technique there we go so if you click on that just make it a little bit bigger you can actually also if you don't want to do that you can go to the modify tool right there and if you change the length you can do that just make it a little bit bigger and what you actually want to do now is go to uh, material option editor my bad and click on that and it will just be open up to this page right here you actually want to go to standard and you want to hit matte shadow double click on that and you'll see that's the color you want to drag that and put it on the plane not just kind of change the color it'll give it a shadow maybe even change the re uh, actually maybe even change the shadow brightness to 0.2 that looks pretty good and you can right click the plane go to object properties and you want to do see through so the view won't be seen you know you won't see this plane so now you can see through it and one more thing you just want to go to rendering environment and for environment map you just want to click on none click on bitmap and what this is going to do is you just want to click on the first video sequence so when you export it you can see what you're looking at and see how the video looks so you just want to go back to the first frame and click OK. Uh, actually, start in frame one again, and uh, actually change the color background to white. You'll see why later. And uh, just hit OK. So now, when we look at everything, and if you click on this little cup right here, render production, you can see our frame render production right here. And uh, looks pretty simple. Nothing special yet. But stay tuned for our third uh, video tutorial where we'll actually be making a square box and using ray fire to cause some destruction and then import into After Effects where your video will turn out looking awesome. So until next time, stay tuned everyone. Keep it real.